well. Orange kooky. And look, there's a lizard right there. Look at him. Just to hide. I'm Ranger Kooky and I'm at Hobo. And I have a special guest here. But first, let's go around and look at the camp real quick. Let's go in Hobo. Me and my guest. I don't know if you can see in here, but let's turn on some lights. Alright, I don't know if you can see any better. But here's his bed. We got it all set up. And over here, we got the Ranger Cookie set up in his big old chair. Radio. And uh, what we did, I didn't show you all this before because I wasn't camping in here. But I took these old blankets and I cover all the way around to keep it from getting cold in here. And uh, makes it warm. And all down, I need some more blankets to cover that. And he has a nice setup. He got a little bucket to sit on, his gear, his mattress. And guess who is my guest? No other than the grumpy, the grumpy guy. guy. He come out here at Ranger Cookie's uh, Hobo to camp out for a few days. A few days. <laughs> for a few days. A few days. A few days. And uh, we out here, we're enjoying our little meal before we start doing a little bushcrafting. He got like a little setup for himself. We got all his little cook kit. And I got my cook kit and stuff. We're going to work on a clay stove. We're going to do some real modern of this cookie knees up there. <laughs> it needs to. All right. I just want to say hi. Uh, it is a good morning. Say goodbye, everybody. Good morning and goodbye. There you go. Well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I'm at Turkey Fork, and I'm going to be pressing the Green Cup Society and the uh, Green Cup Club. So, out here, I guess our group decided to uh, make. Turkey Fort, our cresting area, so I'm going to be cresting by only the only the grumpy guy. All right. Now, before we do this, understand, Cookie's like me. He doesn't drink alcoholic beverages, so he's got a drink in the cup. He's going to take a drink, and then you go I, the I <laughs> baptize you into the Green Cup Club <laughs> and the Green Cup Society. <laughs> So, Mr. Ben Collier, you have a new member. Oh Manland, you have a new member. <laughs> and he's crazy. <laughs> and until the next one, we wait, will see you later. Wait a minute, this is the Green Cup Society. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm Ranger Kuki, and I got the grumpiest man in the world. Why? <laughs> He's grumpy. He got mad at me. He yelled at me. Did all kinds of things to me. But I got something for his ass. <laughs> hey, Larry. <laughs> this is hey. This is Larry. <laughs> well, this is Larry meeting Grumpy Guy the first time. Oh, and uh, ah, I like the whiskers. Oh yeah, I'm on the salty taste. <laughs> well, you're getting a lot of it. I haven't taken a shower yet. Oh yeah, that's even better. All right. Well, this is uh, the Grumpy Guy over here at the first annual meet. Of the uh, Southern Bushcrafters Rendezvous. Rendezvous. I'm always getting that rendezvous wrong. Yeah, you radio. All right. Well, I'll catch y'all later. I hope you enjoy the rendezvous videos. <sighs> well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I'm out here at my base camp. Now, I ask my YouTubers if you like to come out here and camp at the camp or just at the hobo, and let me know. So. I'm out here at my base camp. I've been working on it. You probably see the other video I have with this this big heavy duty bush chair that I created for a special guest. I'm waiting for him to show up, but hey, and over here, and that's my special guest. Hi everybody. How you all doing out there in YouTube land? And this is the big grumpy guy. How you doing? All right, he come out here to see the camps and hobo and camp out for a few a few days. So how you enjoying it? I'm absolutely loving it out here. Beautiful area you got. Your camps, both of them, are just fabulous. I love everything the way it's set up. Just. And look, it's just great. I, I I don't know what to say other than it's just great. <laughs> I even made this big A-frame for special guests that sleeps on the ground. They don't have to sleep on the ground in heavy duty. And now everybody remember, I'm about 250, maybe 260, and uh, I got it. It'll hold me right up. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> the only thing I'm missing right now is my pillow. And he, I do probably have to do reinforcement with this board here. It's a little thinner than the other side. But uh, if it can hold Mr. Grumpy, it can hold any of my guests that come out here. Comfortable, isn't it? Yes, it is. I fell asleep on a little bitty part of it. Yeah, you know, I'm just sitting here thinking if I had my pillow or my mattress down here, I could probably take a nap. Yeah. Make sure you're on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is not tied down. If I just tied that down, we'd be all right. And what I did, I took these brown tarps and I wrapped my area up. And like I said in my other video, right here, you're freezing your ass off. The minute you walk through this little hole, is a cubby of heat. This reflects the heat, goes into over here, and it just does a little circle. And I got some cast iron that I throw in my fire when I get it hot. And I keep that cast iron hot as hell. I got plenty of wood, come see. And, and, and Mr. Grumpy was surprised I even got wood. Here you go, hold that for me. I will, sir. Yeah, look, look at this wood pile this dude's got here. He now, got a good pile of wood there. This is using tin bags to survive. I took and opened one slit and just put it on two pieces of boards and open it up. And you can see that I'm protecting, protecting all my wood that I need to be dried to start fires with. And that's about it. And I'm gonna show you before you go, I'm gonna show you uh, one of the spots that I this is for my hammock. I put right here and I got the T-frame and my friend Andrew When he was here This is his little area. He hung up his And I put some tarps all the way around the, 
the uh, area so keep all that cold air from coming in and freezing us during the cold days and don't forget I got a bunch of boxes I was trying to do some eight crate things with some tests didn't work like I want and this is one thing you don't have at your camp fresh Running water, water. Alright, I hope you enjoy this short video of me and the Grumpy. Hey guys. Ball <laughs> And alright, I just want to say thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy my other videos all the way. Well, I'm Ranger Cookie. I'm at Airlay Lake. Or whatever you want to call it. And I'm here with the Grumpy Guy. And I want to show you his camping area, which is I think is awesome. Look at this. He took a uh, what, what size this is? 8 by 12 tarp, and this is his system. I think he has a nice cool uh, system he uses. Take a look at his bedding. I think that's way better than my system. Let's see. And uh, we are here having like a little barbecue. We're going to fry some rice or something maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and here's our little picnic table. And look what we had. We had the area lake. And this is my little uh, camp area. With my hammock and my tarp. And that's it. We are here and enjoying a very cool sun. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is Grumpy Guy. We're having fun at Area Lake. I hope you enjoy this short, 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 short video. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody, this is Grumpy. I got a mail call today. And uh, the worst part of all of it is, is I had to carry this thing. But thank God I didn't have to carry it very far. I'm uh, going to show you what we got here. This is pretty easy here. But here's the hard part of it right here. It's mail call from Ranger Cookie. It's a mail call. And guess what? We have something very special for the grumpy guy. Now everybody remember, if you haven't seen the video already, I want you to go watch it. Ranger Cookie did a video on his vest that he did for survival. And uh, when we was at the rendezvous, we was talking about our vest. And I've got one, but I don't have it down here with me right now. And uh, when he come over today with a mail call, Ranger Cookie bought some pouches for me to put on my vest. And... This is what we got here. This is a neat little pouch. I like this one. He had two of them. I wanted them both, but he wouldn't let me have them. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> you had a choice. Nah, he told me I could have whatever I wanted. But that one's got a drawstring on it. I could really like the drawstrings. On there like that. I got it stuck. Don't get your fingers stuck on one. You might have to cut it off. Got some <laughs> expandable elastic. Yeah, he showed me you could put a couple of lighters there. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, put your lighter there. Yeah. Look how awesome this is. Stick that right in there. You always got a lighter right there at hand. You I never thought of that. Digging around in your pockets. I don't have a ferro rod out here, but I got a ferro rod that'll fit right down in there. So that's a, a pretty handy little pouch. I like that one real well. I love this mail call. Hand delivery. I love hand delivery stuff. Save me from having to go to the post office. I like this little pouch. This is Molly compatible. Just a ammo pouch. Isn't that what you said this was? Ammo pouch? No, this one's an ammo pouch. This is a... You just, you know, the thing with these pouches, you can put anything in them and they'll, they'll fit. They work out real well. So I'm going to jump over to this one here. It's a good little pouch, and uh, we got a, he, he don't want to be on camera, but I, we got a, I got my uh, brother-in-law son over here. He's over there, he got a gun on me. And he said this was for like putting the, uh, the Israeli patches in, 
Yeah, Israeli bandages. That's what he's a good for, huh? Yeah, that's what he said he's good for. I put 550 cord in mine. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. So I got a couple of them, so I can see where those are going to be real handy. And because uh, I got a vest like Ranger Cookie, so I'm going to be digging it up, and I'll do a video after I get it rigged up. And that'd be this is a canteen pouch. One of these days, I'll get down to the surplus store and get me a canteen to put in it. If I knew you hadn't had one, I brought one. Damn you, boy! Yeah. <laughs> this, and I really like this one here too. This is a. I don't know what was this, Jason? Was this a animal pouch? Is that what this one was? Yep. Yeah. That, uh... There's two little pouches there on the side with the grenade pouches. Yeah, okay. I didn't know that. And he said these little pouches here on the side was where they got grenades in at, so... And it makes sense. Yep, we got your ammo and grenades right beside oh. you. Some really cool pouches. So, what are you going to fill them up with? I don't know. I'll have to just think about it as I go along. We're, we know this would be filled up with. That one's going to be a canteen for sure. This one here, I'll probably put on and put my uh, my saw in it. There you go. That's why I have. Because that's mine. what I like about these here. It's got the Velcro that's expanded, yep. and you can actually hook them up that. Like you got that. the smaller uh, saw, so that should fit yeah. right perfect, right? Yeah, there. mine's small one, so. So I thought it, and these others, I don't know, just, uh, these are just going to have to be a mit, miss and hit and play with. And I put the 550 cord in there. That's me, but that's, everybody has their opinion. Well, yeah, I, I may, may very well do that because I don't have, uh, I don't have anything small. to go in that pocket. Well, I don't have anything small to put the paracord in and everything else that I've got is, is all bigger stuff like this. Yeah, so, so I got I 15 put, feet of paracord in mine, yeah. and it fits perfect in here. It could probably hold a little bit more paracord, maybe like uh, 50 feet. I never did a test to see how much rope I could put in here, but I do believe it can hold 15 so-so, maybe a little bit more. It might, might, might make, make it work. And most of these, all these in fact, I should say, still have the Alice clips on them. And the ones that don't have Alice clips are the Molly's. Molly compatible anyway, so yeah. I don't need the Alice clips anyway. Yeah. So. Bam! And I've noticed uh, on my vest, they got those Molly's too. You put one here, then go in, then go over. It's like you have to go in and over both uh, of those. Yeah, and yeah. It, I noticed it, it was holding it better. It was bouncing before, so when I put it I weaved it, one here, one there, and it went, and it, it held very tight to <coughs> the, uh, my vest, and I can't wait to see his video on his vest with his new bags, I bought a lot of them because uh, he told me he had one, and I'm going to give him a gift, and I gave him a cool gift. And that's, uh, that's a cool thing, but appreciate it. Thank you. I'll that's what, you. that's what, uh, this, uh, what the community is all about is helping one another, showing show support of others that can't maybe can't afford such an item. Hey, I bought it for him. Money does mean nothing to me. It's friendship. Friendship is more important. I buy, I buy that. Friendship is way more important than anything else. You sure you don't want to come over here and sit and, and talk to everybody out there in YouTube land? <laughs> You'll only seen by, be, be seen by a few thousand people. <laughs> I'm talking to Jason sitting over there. Yeah, he is a little shy. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to end this video up by uh, wait till you see your video with your yeah. vest and where you go put your bags and where you put in them. Um, you know, this one I had, for example, uh, a, uh, a tarp in one of them. I still got a tarp. Yeah. A tarp. I used up that tarp and I got, one. and believe it or not, try not to aim it towards you. I got my vest with me right here. And if he wants to go through my vest and see what's all about, only I got some camouflage sleeves. This is for a bow. Um, I'm gonna put this on the camouflage on the pipe. Oops. And I want time to build me uh uh, some camouflage sleeves for this thing. 
So Tom, I know you're watching. Hook me up. I'll give you the measurements. But right now I want to hook these uh, camouflage sleeves I got from my bow. And see if I can get that camo because it's like an eyesore middle of the woods. And I just forgot my more water packs. But everything's on it except for my camelback and my canteen, wherever it's hidden at. Over here. <laughs> but I have everything else on that baby. Let's take a look at all the goodies that grumpy guy got. He got two loot bags. Yeah. He got two different types. A water pouch and an ammo cap. I can't wait to see your uh, your vest. And I hope you make a good vest. Where'd you go? Where'd you? You'll, uh, you'll, you'll see a video. Well, we're going to see. Hopefully, uh, this, hopefully this thing can week. All right, I'm going to head in this video. He's getting too long already. It's almost nine minutes and 15 seconds. All right, I'm Reggie Cookie over here, my grumpy guy. He's grumpy. He yelled at me. Why you come over here? I'm invited. Damn you, boy. All right, I'm Reggie Cookie, and I'm going to say goodbye. I wonder how fast I can go. I'm Reggie Cookie, and this is... Donnie Pavolini, Donnie Pavolini Outdoors. And I gave him a cool Christmas gift. What is that? Yeah. Moolah, the uh, Benjamin, <laughs> <laughs> and it's awesome, <laughs> and you can't have it, <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> I also gave him a Christmas dinner. Sure did, man, Chinese food, man, that was enjoyable, I really enjoyed that. We had a good time, sat and had a great time, great talk, <laughs> great m meal, it was great. He wasn't expecting a, a little piece of paper sure was <laughs> saw a bunch of receipts all wrapped up said, what in the world is this he said don't throw them away <laughs> <laughs> he kept opening them up yeah, he had so another people i'm ranger cookie i just want to show you friendship and, and companionship is very important that's to me that's right and this is my too. friend donnie polanini of donnie right. polanini outdoors this is my friend ranger cookie check him out on youtube you'll be glad you did and also Need to check out a new and upcoming star named The Ranger. Look for the link down in the description box of this very video. There you go. Give him a sub. All right, I'm Richard Cookie, and we're going to say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah, Merry Christmas to everybody. And don't forget, uh, Grumpy Guy, you're next. You're next. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your heart out, Mark. <laughs> Yeah. Just don't chunk it up into chunks. I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is the Grumpy, and we having a we having a barbecue middle winter. This is Papa Kitchen. Damn, he's he's sure laying it on there. I don't want to have to do it again. <laughs> Guess I don't need this. Huh. Yeah. I should call flame. Oh, look at it broke my hairs. Damn you, boy. That'd be good. Camera's earned. Papa Kitchen says, "Don't put, don't baste your chicken." Wait till the last moment to baste your chicken. So I'm gonna try both.
hole. I sure picked a fine day to cook food, huh? Yeah. A cold, breezy day. Should have picked any, any day this week would have been better than this one. <laughs> so did you have fun for Christmas? Oh, I had fun for Christmas. Look at that chicken down there. Mm -hmm. Mama loves me. And Grumpy's ready to flip him over so you see the juices. This is a video shout out for Papa Texas, Papa Chicken, and, and Papa Feathers. There we go, look at that. Chicken Dollar King, hold the feathers. We have to pluck all the feathers off. <laughs> and there it is, a nice chicken meal. Uh, doing the Papa Texas way right here with no barbecue sauce and the rest is glazed. Let me see the difference. All right, Papa Texas, here's a small shout out for you, sir. I'm Ranger Cookie and I'm gonna give uh, I gave this big old knife to my friend, the Grumpy, for his Christmas present. Here you go, Grumpy, his big Christmas present. Thank you. Look how big this baby is. If I'm not mistaken, it's a 1950 German elk knife. He likes these big knives, so I got him this big monster knife for his Christmas present. Paid too much for it, but I think he's worth it. Alright, we're over here by the Grumpies. We're having a little barbecue. A little barbecue chicken. A Papa's chicken. Chicken! Papa Ketchin. Kitchen in Papa, Texas. Here you go, Mr. Grumpy. Thank you. I looked up a little bit on it, but I remember what I found. I didn't write it down. So I'm sure we try to keep warm by the fire. I'm going to have a little chicken. Alright, see you in a little bit. Now, the Grumpy cooked a very fine chicken meal. He thanks. Yeah, he'll, find, he'll find out when he bites into it. Yeah, he uses he used a lot of pond to cook with. Look at that. Mm. Well, it is Grumpy's cooking. Like Grumpy's cooking kitchen, whatever. Alright, see y'all next video. And say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. This is grumpy. I uh, had a visitor come in last night. And this morning he kind of got crazy and got out here at my house. And he was playing a little bit, made a couple things, and we thought we'd show you what it is. Got a big old pile of clay right there. And there's my visitor. How you doing? <laughs> of course, everybody knows it's Ranger Cookie. And your camera just died. It's, no, it's still on. Oh, is it still on? I thought your camera died. Uh -uh. It went blank. It went <laughs> black. So I was, whoa. So anyway, he made this. This bush chair, we used these at the rendezvous 
and he come out today and reworked them a little bit and getting the bark off of them and uh, put it back together over here and then he come out here and he <coughs> excuse me cut some more s small trees down and he put together a little a-frame bed on a, for like a stretcher bed that look looks pretty good I haven't laid on it yet but he has and my wife did it's kind of funny watching her and then he off of this clay we got around here he come down with a we got some of this clay over here and he made the a clay stove out here for me done a pretty fair job on that still got to smooth it out with some water and uh, then build a fire in it to harden it but there it is and uh, he done a good job on it something I've been wanting to do but I hadn't been feeling well enough to get outside and play and so Ranger Kooky did it for me Right, I'm Ranger Kooky. I'm over here by the Grumpy's house and I made the clay stove. I debark our two bush chairs that we usually go out to go camping with and I made a permanent camp. He just have to get his wife to do some sewing or I might ask Tom Chitwood to make me another one of these. And there you go. I'm Ranger Kooky and this is Grumpy. We see you next time on the far side. Well, I'm Ranger Kooky, and I'm in the middle of nowhere. Well, not far. Early today, Mr. Grumpy made a video of uh, of this campsite he made today. He did a good job making this. So look at all the Lu Lucy lights we have out here. Later on, we're gonna build a mud mud. I don't know if you can see my hand, but we're gonna build a mud thing right here, and we're gonna uh, have fire. Yeah, right here <laughs> right there in that little spot with a little uh area to cook food and there's the i don't know if y'all can see that let's turn on some brighter light there you go now you can see this is the a-frame a-frame uh camping system that the ranger had created and over here grumpy built this uh mud clay stove look at that i don't know if you can see that <laughs> we're gonna shine a light there you go look what grumpy built he built a clay stove looks like out of concrete does look like concrete from this and there you go he's gonna put a hammock over there sometime later on but look how bright this place is with eight lucy lights and one max light and this is the grumpy you can barely see him grumpy <laughs> No, I, I can barely see. How you like your camping space? Oh, my God, I like it. Oh, you did a good job building it. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is... Grumpy. See you next video. Look how pretty it is. Look how pretty. Yeah, I'm Ranger Kooky, and this is Donnie Pavlini, and this is Grumpy. We are here at the area lake enjoying a camp out, and I have a special guest, Donnie Pavlini. Donnie Pavlini Outdoors. <laughs> How y'all are? We are here talking about everything. It, oh, it, it, yeah, it's going. See the red light's going. Yeah, it's red light. Hi, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is Grumpy. And we wanted to show you we're being guinea pigs for mosquitoes. That's right. So we're going to do a test. I keep hearing about this B1, vitamin B1. Take a look. Vitamin B1 says, and or say, they say to keep the mosquitoes away. 
So me and the grumpy is gonna be guinea pigs. He tried it yesterday, did it work? I can honestly say after I took it, it was about 45 minutes to maybe a little over an hour that I didn't, I didn't have any more mosquitoes buzzing around me. You ever tried vitamin B1? It smells. I guess that's what the mosquitoes don't like. The, the smell of the vitamin B1. Take a look, folks. Vitamin B1. So I'm, I was getting buzzed a few minutes ago, so I'm like, let's go get my pills and try it out. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. This is Grumpy Guy. And we'll see you in the next video. I hope it works, because I don't want to be drained of blood. Damn you, Bonnie. <laughs> Damn you, Skeeters.